Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I have a calendar that I made for my scrubby um, for the new year and he's uh, my Irish honey so I used uh, the Lucky paper from uh, Little Yellow Bicycles and I also was inspired by um, Time for Scrapping, Tanya. She did a, a Searching for a Leprechaun mini album for her daughter. It was a cute story. But I bought she had some leftovers and she had a little small kit so I bought that from her but then I just you know kept buying stuff so of course I have um, have way too much um, goodies left over anyways what I used is the Myra Road um, flip album and I bought this last year or a year and a half ago I think Steffo Gal did a um, recipe book with it for a friend of hers daughter and she let me know that she got the mini album at two peas in a bucket. So I ran over there and ordered a couple. But I do, I did check and they do have, they have an ATC size. And what it is is it's a plexiglass V or stand. And then you get the nice big rings. And with this size you get nine chipboards. And they still have the a recipe size. I think it's like four by six chipboard and then they have an ATC size so they still have you still have the capabilities of making a, um, a cool calendar you know like this with the thingy or a recipe book <clears throat> so I just wanted to I'll show you okay uh, blah 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 <laughs> I'm like babbling so this is from Tuber Dawn she sent this to me in a rack and she sent it she knew I was doing this I had mentioned I was going to do a um, Irish book for Scrubby so um, she thought this would be pretty and it's very apropos because he's a he's a really good Catholic boy and so that you know he goes to retreat every year so I think that's a really nice addition to his um, mini so oops there's my finger <clears throat> excuse me so this is the cover and again this is the lucky paper and there's shamrocks back there but I just really like the colors and I also added some um, I partnered the lucky uh, yellow bicycle paper with the K and Company's blue awning, which I adore. So this is <clears throat> these two stamps are from um, Dark Room Door, which is now available at uh, Blue Moon Scrapbooking. I'm just ecstatic about it. And I kind of did kind of an Angela Cartwright attempt at this, and I just used some Tim Holtz Distress Ink on that. Um, these are flowers that came in the kit that Tanya had and then I have a sheet of shamrocks and this is just some trim I put on so then you turn it over and I'm hoping that the key the cross will always fall to the side <clears throat> and then this is just canvas from this, the collection here's some blue awning paper it works really well with this and then these are just um, dates that are important for the year and I can add birthdays and um, shoot my birthday falls on Thanksgiving again Ugh. But anyways, I can add birthdays or special days, but I also kind of did the month so that it included some of our special days. Um, of course, this one is New Year's, and that's Scrubby at a New Year's party a couple of years ago. <clears throat> and then these are just um, some graphic items that I got from Tanya, some I found myself and some friends gave me. And um, this is this stamp. Every month is stamped with the Seven Gypsies month stamps and then I just found these online and these are little clips from Katie from my Secret Santa so then he flips this over and turns it around and we have February and um, this is an old postcard about being engaged um, he and I got engaged on Valentine's Day so that's just kind of a special reminder there's a picture of us and this is the Valentine tag I did a couple of few years ago with um, that's a red um, artistic outpost stamp. They're really cute little dog. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then here is March, and here's our little our little leprechaun Galloway. And this is such a funny picture because this was after we went to uh, Hilton Head for a vacation. And when we go on vacation, of course, Gallo has to go to the we call it kennel camp. So he thinks he's gonna go have fun. And when he comes home from kennel camp, he's so tired of being around other dogs because he's really a, per a people dog. 
he's only around us and people and no little kids. But he comes home and he heads right for the our closet in our bedroom. And he stays in there for about two days. And then he passes out on the couch for about three. So this couch, is, I've got pillows because he literally is completely worn out. And you can just see it in his eyes. It's pretty cute. So anyways, that's our little baby. And then here's some... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, crocheted shamrocks. And this trim I got from a treasure's nest. And that's March. And then we go to April. And this is Scrubby's birthday month. So I've got a birthday card for him. And then this was when we were in Puerto Vallarta. And he's given us two thumbs up on the margarita. Um, there's another picture towards the end of the night that... Uh, I thought I'd better not put in here. <laughs> it's an ugly reminder. <laughs> it was funny. And then these are just um, rub-ons from the seven, oh, the little bicycle, <clears throat> excuse me, collection. And here's another one of our my two favorite boys. And, you know, our dog thinks he's a lap dog. But isn't that cute? They're both smiling. And then this, again, this is um, from the darkroom door. This is a different stamp, but this came from the other collection. And um, he has a teal pickup, so I wanted to kind of, you know, do that in teal color. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got, where am I? Okay. Then we go to June. And you could really put all the cards on one side, but I got so much crap on these pages. I lost my butterfly. Uh-oh, I wonder if that got put somewhere else. I had a butterfly in there. Oh, I think I see. We lost that too now. Okay, if I find the butterfly, I'll put it back in. So I just did love, and then I had a real pretty butterfly here, and you know, this is from the bicycles again. Okay, then you go, then what you do is, or what he does, is flip these back to that side. And I don't want to put too many goodies in the pockets because he should, this is going to be for his office, and he does need to work. Bring home that bacon. Okay, so July is the month we got married. <clears throat> and I didn't dig in the storage room for all my photos yet, but I have a picture of us on our honeymoon, which was in the Black Hills and the Badlands. And so I'm going to put that on there. And just kind of a reminder. I'm also going to put um, some Irish um, sayings and limericks that are his favorites and stuff on some of the journal spots. And then this is a Stephogel. I love how she does the fiber, so I did a Stephogel flower. <clears throat> and then here's August. If I can get that over there. And this is just Bliss in August. This is from, I got this from Marlene. For you, Marlene, in uh, a rack that she sent me, and it's God's Covenant with Noah. I just thought it was real pretty for August. Um, here in the summer and then um, um, this I can journal and then this is just so very happy so very lucky to have me for his wife well at least that's what that's the subliminal message I'm kind of giving him okay um, yeah here's the butterfly this goes on that other page <clears throat> so then this I, I use my new cinch and I put some holes in here and then just tied I kind of just like you know, it was kind of fun to have stuff hanging off. And I'm going to do a picture. September is really insignificant for us, so I don't know what I'm going to do there. But I just thought it was kind of pretty. Am I going the right way? Okay, October. And October, again, i got to dig through my Halloween stuff. I ran out of time. I just want him to get this to his workplace, so I'll, put, I'll give him something for October. I've got old, like, pictures of us. We used to dress up, you know, for every Halloween and... Um, always had fun, so <clears throat> I'll do that. And then uh, uh, November, <clears throat> excuse me, November is my birthday, and he calls me Rock. That's who I am for him. Um, and then, you know, like my family calls me Rocky. I really go by Roxy and at work or, you know, friends or whatever. But anyways, so that's just a, uh, I'll just remind him on here that my birthday. And then this is the Tim Holtz. Um, crest tie, regal crest, and I used the new Meyer Road mist on it, and I love, I don't know, it doesn't show up, but these mists are like, it's almost like spray paint, they are so cool. 
So I really liked how those turned out. And then I just stamped. This was from a Friends, Seven Gypsy Friends stamp set. <clears throat> and then, and that's my goal too. I was doing this last week before New Year's. And my New Year's goal is to use all my paper that I can instead of just looking at it. And also using my um, dies because I um, was fortunate to have Santa bring my, Scrubby got me the um, Vagabond, you know, for my hands because I have some issues with my hands. They're not as um, strong as they should be. They're a little painful because of uh, injury and arthritis. But anyways, the Vagabond is like butter. I mean, I just, it's, I'm, I'm so excited to use dies now <laughs> instead of reluctant. So anyways, I used the tree dies from Tim Holtz and um, I, um, I uh, used Distress Ink. I think it's uh, Shabby Shutter. And then I put some um, rock candy stickles on there. And again, this is the um, blue awning paper. And then this is a little... Um, embellishment that I got in a rack from, or in my Secret Santa from Katie. And I tried to put a shamrock on every page for him so he can remember his heritage. And then this last page, this, does, this isn't a, a, a month, but I kept making them and I really like, this is my favorite page of course, this both sides. But this is just going to be, it's a story of us and you know that I love him remind him and this is from the yellow bicycle their borders for 12 by 12 but I just cut it up and then there's a tag in here that I will put um, a photo of us probably soon because I gotta get all my pictures out okay and then this I love this page and it's probably who knows why but I use the oops I use the Tim Holtz uh, rickety house die or whatever it's called and stick and I distressed them each with a different color and then stickled their roofs with a different color and then I love my little flowers how those turned out I just they're so fun and I hate to say I love it but I do and then this picture is going to be I'm doing a project for an, oops another mini that I'm working on and that mini is going to be all the homes that he and I lived in growing up and um, on our own and then um, all the homes that we've bought and sold and that's what I'm going to put on there is just little tiny photos of those so I hope I didn't shake too much but um, that's my mini and I really enjoyed doing this and uh, I'm only a few days late for him for January but I think he'll like it thanks for watching bye